we're at uh, St Teresa's School in Effingham. Uh, this is where we hold the Natives Cookery Course. Um, we're going to have a little chat with our tutors here, Naomi and Emma, and we're going to talk briefly uh, about top tips for running the best chalet you can. Um, I think um, let's start with looking after looking after your chalet. You mentioned dishwashers, didn't you? Yeah, your dishwasher is your best friend, I think, and it's really important to make sure you've got your dishwasher sort in there, your rinse aid, you look after your dishwasher, because at the end of the day, I think, when you've cleaned 12, 24 plates by hand, um, look after that dishwasher definitely. I mean, obviously, dishwashers break down. What happens if you haven't? If your dishwasher does break down, you've got to wash everything by hand. Um, and obviously, call your maintenance man. <laughs> Get him out as soon as you can on your, for your dishwasher. Um, yeah. Yeah, I know. I agree with all of that. I'd say if if it does break down it's a lot of hard work so really look after it from the word go so dishwasher is, is your is your best friend yes definitely yeah. and in terms of like um looking after the exterior of your chalets what do you think about clearing clearing snow for example do you think it's important yeah you've got to do that because the worst thing is to have a, a big snow slide off the roof i think on top of uh, your vehicle one of your guests um, somebody or walking past icicles, well. icicles yeah. is a bit of a hazard and for basically health and safety you have to move it have to make sure people aren't going to slip and break their leg outside the chalet before they've even gone skiing yeah. now I'm not suggesting that you are the, the sort of girls that can't shovel snow but if you are the, are the sort of feebler type of person any tips on how to get that shifted so you don't do it yourself make friends with some of the uh, strong hunky men around town I think offer and, some uh, cake to yeah. someone um, Cake and beer is a good, uh, I think good currency more, in the Alps. Yeah, cake's yeah, probably currency. better for the boys who can't shovel snow on their own. They're <laughs> <laughs> not even going to get anywhere flirting, are they? Um, brilliant stuff. Um, let's talk a bit more about um, during dinner service, because I know that's a really key point um, in, the, in the chalet process or in the evening. That's when guests are being looked after. What do you think yourselves is like the, the most important thing to do during dinner service? Um, I think you've got to make sure that you're well communicated. If you're working in a team, make sure each of you know what you're doing, who's doing what. Um, but don't forget your guests. More importantly, you know they they need to know when to eat, when not to eat, when to start. Yeah, communication um, with your guests and telling them what they're eating is very important, um, and making sure that they know when to start. And basically, dinner etiquette is very important mm. for your guests to know what's. I mean, obviously, uh, in the situation, it's it is um, it's like a, it's quite important that you do things correctly. But obviously, it's not silver service. What are the key things when serving food? Um, I think it's important that the food's hot. It's got to be yes. got to be warm. Hot plates. Yeah, hot plates, hot food. Good presentation. Yeah. Um, generally, serve from the left, clear from the right. Mm. Um, just sort of basic basic serving standards. But yeah. ten, guests tend to be quite relaxed about it to a certain they do, extent. Yes. They'll pile yeah. up their own plates if they're nice. But they will notice yeah. if you've got dirty cutlery. Mm -hmm. and and dirty they will fingers. notice if you've got dirty fingers and they will notice if the glass has got lipstick marks on it. So yeah. everything does need to be clean and in the right place. And do you find a lot of the time the guests have read the brochure and they know exactly what they're meant to get? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Most of the time, yeah. I think. Yeah. No, they, so you they can't have cut a good shortcuts idea. there. No, you've got to you've got to live up to what they expect. Yeah. Well, what exceed. They yes. Yeah. I think that is my expect. top tip is read the brochure of what the guests if you're working for any tour operator, you should read the brochure and see what the company's actually promised them. Yeah. Yes. Definitely. Yeah, there's nothing worse than being caught short by a guest saying, Oh, where's our canapes and yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, in terms of wine, I mean my my I don't know if it, I don't know if you're allowed to say this, but wine in a microwave if it's a bit cold. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> probably not. No, just like ten seconds, just to bring it up to room Tried temperature. Tried it, no. it exploded. Exploded. It's, yeah, yeah, friends in the put wine in the oven as well. It, it's a bit risky. Yeah. A bit risky. I'd how, say yeah. get your Obviously wine. Red to... wine is cold quite a lot of the time. You sometimes forget. Well, how would you get it up to temperature? I'll get it in in the morning. Make well, sure if that you an don't open fire. Yes, you can always yeah. put it not too close, but. Near the open near fire, the fire, near a radiator, near the oven, just keep it in the kitchen to warm up. Yeah, certainly not. I wouldn't microwave my wine. All right, brilliant stuff. Um, uh, what about cakes is a big, is another massive thing, cakes. Cakes is another big thing. In a every speciality. <laughs> <laughs> We've had a lot of cake this week. Um, I think like the type of cake you cook You've got to look at the, the weather outside, as you say, don't you? Yes, yeah, so. I would say cakes are very weather dependent because uh, cake takes quite a long time to cook, to cool and to ice, whereas muffins or biscuits take maybe 10, 15 minutes to cook in the oven 
and if it was a really amazing oh, right. oh, powder day I would be looking at possibly doing cookies or muffins and saving my carrot cake where I've got to peel all the carrots for possibly a bad weather day so longer cakes when 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 the weather's good and you want yes. to get out there on the ski slopes. Yes. Quick I'd cakes. say quick cakes for when quick, the weather's sorry, good. Sorry, quick yeah. cakes when the weather's <laughs> yeah. good. Long cakes when the weather's bad. For yeah. a minute there, I thought you were going to tell us that it depends on the guest mood, <laughs> and what, what sort of cakes you should bake and based on the weather. But clearly not. It's all down to getting out on the mountains. Exactly. Yeah. Um, do you think the cakes is one of the most important things on a ski holiday for a guest point of view? Yeah, I think it is. They've come in off the slopes. They're tired. They're hungry. It's nothing nicer than walking in and seeing yeah. like a lovely cake and, and all an laid iced down. cake as well. Yes, I think it's really yeah. important that you ice your cake so that yeah, and the presentation of the cake is quite important as well. Presentation of the cake, mm. um, smash in stuff. Um, cleaning, any top tips on cleaning? You always look really scared. Yeah, yeah. What, <laughs> it's what? no one's favourite topic. No, cleaning. It's not. My um, top tip is massively illegal. Right. My top tip is um, is window cleaner has detergent and um, uh, cleaning products in it and it makes everything shiny oh, that's all I'll say fair enough I would say there's not really many shortcuts uh, if you were going to do the job properly it, it is one of those things that has got to be done properly I think isn't it the guests will yes. start to complain if their toilets aren't clean and their bathrooms are dirty and that sort of thing so it is something that will take a lot of your time but it's something that you've got to be prepared to do I think how anal some. do you think guests are when they get there are they going across the tops of cupboards and some might yeah, some might yeah certainly. some do let's face it when you go and stay in a hotel do you notice when things are dirty or are mm, I do yeah. I've been a chalet for a long time now <laughs> <laughs> yeah but if you open your wardrobe doors and there's dust oh, yeah. across the shelf and yeah, that sort or of thing hairs in things yeah where they shouldn't be no, yeah, it's not something. Yeah, you can that first arrival day, the, it's got to be wow, spotless. Wow, impression. Yeah, mm. um, and then the rest of the week you can keep on top of it. And if you do a really good job at the start of the week, it's easy to to keep on top of it throughout the week. And that's right, what you just said though, to mm. keep on top of it during the week, a little bit every day. Yeah, makes a huge difference at the end of the week because obviously you're helping yourself when you've got to do that deep clean on the yeah. on the changeover as well. Yeah. Um, and finally, let's just quickly talk about tips. Any top tips on getting tips? <laughs> tips for tips. Uh, kill Be a meal careful. on the last night. Kill a meal on the kill last night. Kill a meal. You've got to bring out all the stops for your last meal mm -hmm. and really go to town. And, and so it's the thing. last thing they remember is the best meal of the week. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The week before they and that's leave. That's when they're going to give you the tips. You hope. Yeah. You hope. <laughs> then or in the morning. Help with luggage as well. And once yes. you've got your tip, don't just give up. Like, don't thank you very much. I might not turn up for breakfast tomorrow, <laughs> but you've got to hang in there, and because the, the guests, you know, you're showing your appreciation to them as well. It's important and help them with their luggage if you can, and always ask if there's anything else you can do. Extra wine on the last night. Yes, yeah, go that extra mile. Extra wine every night, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, leave a bottle of wine for them, that sort of thing. So you'll always, you'll always make it back from those guests that are just a bit teetotal. Yes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the family. That's what that's what yeah. I was head to believe. <laughs> anyway, ladies, um, thank you very much. Um, I think no you've been problem. very helpful, and there's uh, some very good tips. Pleasure. Good, thank you. All right.